Hello everybody, welcome back to Morphine Folia. I've decided to just run this episode back straight after the last one, and I did mention about doing greedier mode. I think I have all my greedier mode mods on. We're about to find out. I'm thinking let's play Samuel, um, or whatever his name is. I'm just gonna call him Samuel, um, on greed mode, because I think that could be kind of fun. I've, uh, I've, I've not had too much experience with this character. I think it could be pretty interesting. Let's pop some pills and see how we go. One, not too bad. Two, pretty bad. Three, pretty bad. Four, that's pretty good. That's pretty good indeed. We got an I can see forever, which does give us a little bit of help here. We also have a machine there. Hmm. Okay. I'm interested in cool glasses. I'm interested in cool glasses for this setup. Anyways, let's give this a go. Ooh, I can walk right through this. What the heck? It's a tub of beans. Right. I'm a little annoyed by the tears down. I feel like that's going to be, oh my lord, not great for us. Um, but we shall see. But yeah, I'm, I'm rather intrigued by the, the cool glasses. I feel like that could be really, really good on greed mode, right? I'm thinking about this correctly, aren't I? Yeah, that was, that was a close one with that guy. But yeah, I think the dice is going to be really, really, really good for making sure we keep a HP going. Don't you be dropping stuff on me. Okay, good. And honestly, I fire rate, it's not that big of an issue considering we've got our uh, Malak Mot to sort of keep us going. Boot, doot. But yeah, I do like creep mode every now and again. I don't want to do it loads because I've realized there is some people out there that aren't as big a fans of it. But I think this character, it can be a lot of fun. Um, as for today's question of the day. Let's see, let's see. Um... Hmm. What's your thoughts on death? This guy's this guy's got a scythe. What's your thoughts on death? Bit dark, but I don't know. It's it's the morning. Time for a little bit of darkness early in the early hours of the day. Why not? Can you like stay still for me for a sec, dude? For a hot second, can you like chill? Thank you. Um, I think we're just gonna pa plow through here. Yeah. What 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 do you think happens? What what's your thoughts? Are you worried about it? Are you scared of it? I know a lot of people are. Be interesting to know. Ooh, okay. The version of this guy that has the greed mode skin is not okay with what's going on currently. <laughs> okay, we did manage to get him in the end. This shouldn't be too bad with Malak. Once we get it procced. Yeah, there you go. Not too bad at all. We just got to take care of the bomb flies now, which I think I want to just throw at, to be honest. Eh, well, this is taking forever, so maybe not. I don't know. I'm definitely going to hurt myself if I walk up to them. But it is taking three throws to kill these guys, which is an insane amount of time. Yeah, for me, I, I'm, I'd say I'm not really worried. I've, I've never really been the sort of person that, like, thinks about it like that. Um, I don't think I can open this with my scythe swing, but I'm going to try it. No, I can't. Um, I think we buy a key here. I'm going to gamble here. I'm going to buy another key and open up this. That was, yeah, that was a rather large gamble, wasn't it? Didn't really pay off. Didn't really pay off at all, but I tried. But yeah, my thoughts with the cool glasses is that basically they're going to be an amazing because every time coins drop on the floor we get to um we get to get a little bonus out of it by killing stuff because it does damage to all the enemies in the room that's if it works the way i think it does it might only trigger on the pennies that drop when we enter the room oh blessing of friendship i think that's the one where we get the mini isaacs um camo undies isn't actually that good for us so i'm gonna take whatever this is and to grab Not particularly great for us, to be honest. Tom Furt is very good. We are on the downpour here. Fire rate's actually pretty good because of anti-grab. I didn't even think about that. That is a pretty big bonus. Um, items, not very good this floor. But yeah, we'll see if this works as I expect. It does. Yes. Okay. Very, very good. Basically, picking up the coins that spawn during combat 
is very beneficial to us. Because it's going to deal damage to everything in the room. Only a little bit. But on the later waves, more and more stuff spawns. It's going to be pretty useful. Right. Fuck you. I can't reach him. It's okay. We got him. We got him. Got him in the end. Remember to use Malak Mop for a bit of invincibility as well. I always forget it gives invincibility. Okay, stay out of the way of that one second. Oh my god. I just got like the worst itch ever on like my fucking shoulder blade. That was really hard to reach. Excuse me, fat blubber. Nice. These enemies are a bit tricky. Proving to be. We'll quickly check out what's going on in the shop. Yeah, unfortunately nothing really worth buying. Not right now at least. I keep taking damage, but honestly, considering I've got what's it called, my, uh, my space bar, I'm not that worried about the damage I'm taking. I think we just got the same boss back to back there, didn't we? Okay, we're golden. We're good. We're Gucci. I'm gonna have to deal with these guys now. I'd rather just take out the boss first, though, and then deal with these guys. My goodness. Why is the music so loud on this floor? What the hell? I don't know if anyone else felt that, but it felt like the music was really loud then. Fuck. Oh. <laughs> okay. This has really got some oomph to it now. This has really got some oomph to it now. Okay. Okay, we like this. We like this. We like to party. We, we, we like to party. That's incredible. <laughs> yeah, that's very, very good. Mum's eye? I, I guess. It comes with some money, so why not? Fat Odd Mushroom. I definitely need Consolation Prize now because my speed is terrible. My little baby's got a scythe and also Mum's Eye is working. Yeah, there you go. We get a full black heart every four rooms now. Pretty insane. What I really should do is leave the coins to stack up for waves where uh, it's a little harder. What I should do is just get hit all the time. I could just do this. And chill. Let everything die via my scythes. Ow. You bastards. He pushed me over the spikes as well. Oh, I can't pick up pennies while I'm in Malik Mott. What the hell? Gotcha. Yeah, give me, give me, um, which one was Constellation Prize? I don't remember. Fuck. That one. Yes. Okay, thank you. I needed that. Now check this out as well. Yellow Sigil. Do not know what that does. Should have taken the I Can See Forever pill. Ah. Chance to spawn a nightmare when we get hit. Yeah, the boss music's like really loud for some reason. I apologize if it's really loud for you as well. 
Shouldn't be any louder than my voice, though, I don't think. I hope. It doesn't look like it is in the mixer, so... Another angel deal. Oh, the soul. Very happy with that. Considering some of these are blind grabs, I'm pretty happy. <laughs> this is a fun run so far. I'm liking it. Curse the blind again? Fuck you, game. I'm just going to reroll my curse before I buy anything. I don't really care about being hit. My health is so regenerable right now. I don't have to worry about it. I wonder if it just rerolled my curse twice or not. I'm not sure. Right, get Malak Mott going for this because these guys are taking a beating. Holy shit. There's a lot going on there. Right. I can see my items now. Ooh, strawberry milk is pretty insane. Um, yeah, we'll take strawberry milk. 2020 is equally quite insane. Um, I think I'm gonna hold off on buying a key right now. Make sure I can buy that first. Which one is it again? Let me just check in case I get the curse. Okay, it's first item. Ooh, you look pretty cool. You're pretty much dead though. We got you again. It's just back to back. Like, honestly, the pennies do a good amount of damage. Yeah, strawberry milk has uh, has made us pop off. Twenty twenty is likewise going to be pretty good for us. I'm loving the way the dual size look. More of my curses, very nice. And the speed up is definitely what I'm going to take here. Ooh, our damage is fat. <laughs> our damage is fat. I will take this. It's a gamble because I'm losing quite a lot of health for that, but I've got, I can regain health so easily. Good, good, let's go. Blessing of Flight. We have Flight for this floor. Zodiac. Speedball. Yes, the speed is finally up to a respectable point. This has just been a really cool run through and through. It's going to be kind of a quick one, though. Ow. I'm taking a lot of dumb damage here, but it, like I said, it really doesn't matter. Fuck this enemy. With a 10-foot pole. Okay. Yeah, Muramai Cursus was a great pickup. I didn't realize it'd be so effective, but it's really, like, sticking a lot of these things to the enemies. Also, I love the fact that we got the corpse here as well. Didn't mean to start this again, but it's done. Also, with so much damage, we're getting Malak Mott, like, insanely fast. Like, it's back already, look. We've, we've basically got infinite Malak Mott here. Yeah, <laughs> we've essentially got infinite Malak Mott. I think it can, I think it cause, cause it can use multiple times. It's having extended duration sometimes. Buy things at random. Metronome isn't a great thing to buy at random. Shit. Beautiful. Tiny Krampus. I will take Tiny Krampus. 
in my loving arms. My god, this is going to be a quick, quick, quick run. I mean, it's a very fun one. And honestly, this works for my schedule. <laughs> oh, it's, it's annoying, because I, I, I don't want to provide you guys with a weak-ass episode. I think this is a good episode, though. Like, I just don't want to provide you with less content than you're expecting. I know people like the, the longer videos, more discussion-based and all that good shit, but sometimes you just got to show the true power of the scythe. And this is one of those times. The true power of the scythe. Beautiful. One more boss wave to go. Pins? Multiple pins. Quickly check out the shop. Three capsules. That could be kind of good. We got... And honestly, I don't know if we're interested in anything to this guy, but the damage is nice at least. Good. Just devilish cramperino. Do I want to take Krampus's head? Because I'm not going to get my active charged again. I think I will. I think I will. Right. Good, good. On to the boss fight. This has been insane. Thank you for the quarter, my good sir. I don't have any bombs for these guys. Not that I needed them anyways, but still. Pick up the pennies first. What the hell? Why can't I hit this guy? What the fuck's going on right now? Like, I'm literally completely unable to hit him. Okay, there you go. That was weird. Why am I getting invincibility every now and again? I'm actually taking a lot of damage here. I need to be careful. Dude, what the fuck? While he's doing this spinning attack, I, like, can't hit him. I need to use my, like, mo uh, a lot more. I'm not using it enough. Oh, okay. Yeah, when he does that spinning attack, it's so, so difficult to hit him. He just pushes me away. I just wait for him to stop. Like, stop spinning, you big oaf. Keeps hitting me. Stop spinning, you fucking dick! I didn't realize how much this guy spam. Bloody stop it! My goodness. Yeah, it, literally every time he spins, I get hurt if I'm not in Malak Mort. I've got to be really careful. Okay, next phase. We Gucci. We Gucci. I don't know if we're going to live. I, I honestly don't. We have to get so close to him. I got a health up. Not super useful considering we don't have anything to fill it with, but I'll take it. Ah, uh, it's Yeah, because we have to get so close to him with the explosions. We basically have to have Malak more activated. There's fucking pennies everywhere. I need to pick them all up before he does. Where am I getting this invincibility from? I really don't know. Ow. 
I was like, where's all the pennies coming from? But I think they spawn whenever he hits me. I really should be timing my Malak Mots a little more, to be honest. For when he does these, like, these, these explosive poundings. Which sounds a bit wrong, but I've said it now. It's not really about the speed boost anymore. It's more about the survival. The invincibility frames that it gives me. But I think we've just about got him here. That we have, that we have. That was an uber run. That was so insanely powerful. I mean, actually, wow. Let's see what the pill ended up being. Friends till the end. They gave us locusts because of um, Star of the Bottomless Pit. Like, let's just recap a minute. So the cool sunglasses, honestly, a really, really cool greed mode synergy that I'd never considered before. Anti-Grav ended up being fantastic, so it's a huge fire rate bonus. Sacred Heart. Electric Dice was clutch as fuck. The Soul is incredible. Strawberry Milk is just brokenly overpowered. Fucking 2020. More of my curses ended up being clutch. Star of the Bottomless Pit's fantastic. I love the 2020 size, by the way. I've been waiting for a run with this guy where we actually get some cool bespoke synergies. And 2020 is definitely one of them. I mean, look at... Like, actually look at our character. The Zodiac on the head. The horns, the little smile, the cool sunglasses, and the dual sights. This guy looks like the leader of some sort of amazing cult. Anyways, we'll leave off the episode there. Incredibly short episode compared to normal, I know. I do apologize. It is unfortunately just something that happens every now and again. As I said, I'm on a pretty tight schedule today, as I mentioned in the last episode. Uh, so I thought greed mode would be a good way to go. And playing as that character, I actually thought we'd have a, a kind of a rough time against the final boss there. And we did but not quite as rough as I thought it was going to be. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this fucking amazing run. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.